one wicked verse in the Quran. Quran chapter 4, Quran chapter 2, sorry, Quran chapter 2, verse 190. Chapter 2, verse 190. Let us see. It says, Fight in the cause. This is it. Fight in the cause of Allah, those who fight you. But do not transgress limits for Allah loves not transgression and slay them wherever you catch them and turn them out from where they have turned you out. That's it. Let's continue on right now again. And fight them until there is no more tumult and oppression. Okay, so this verse here is telling us, is telling the Muslims to fight in the cause of Allah, those who fight you. So, this is the thing. I want us to be very clear because most of us who come under the comment section and say, hey, they say those who fight you, you have to fight them back. This is what the Muslims are saying. Let us see a little bit what the Bible is saying. The Bible is saying in this passage here, um, is actually found in Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5, verse 44 to 45. We see, we read, you can freely download the Bible for free. It says, but I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you that you may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he make his son, his son to rise on the evil and on the good and send rain on the just and on the unjust. Love your enemies. Pray for the good of those who help, hurt you. Uh, uh, pray for also the people who despise fully. So people who are just there to be using you, you have to pray for their good. This is what the God of the Bible is saying. This is what the God of Islam is saying. If somebody fights you, you have to fight him back. And then he continues by saying, fight them until there is no more anybody around you that is, no matter where you even fight them, and slay them, slay them wherever you catch them and turn them out wherever they turn you out. So, this is the concept of an eye for an eye and a tooth for you. If I hurt you, you hurt me back. If I do you good, you do me good back. This is the concept of Islam. And then now this is the concept of the Bible. But I say unto you, love your enemies. So as a Muslim, I would like you, or as somebody who just discovered this particular channel today, and you are like, okay, um, uh, this, is, this is it. How do I make a choice between the two religions? How do I make a choice to come to Jesus Christ, to come to God, to actually want to know who God is? It's going to be very easy, guys. To know who God is, you must understand the concept of God. God is all-loving. God is an all-loving God. So if you had somebody who is just there to be hurting people, somebody who is just there to be praying and telling you to go and hurt, we are going to find it. I'm still in chapter 2, guys. Still in chapter 2. If you have been watching my videos more, more, we are going to arrive at chapter 9, which is the real chapter. Where the real deal, almost 90% of verses in chapter 9 is just this fight. Go and kill them, go and kill them, go and kill them. Kill the Christians, kill the Jews, uh, slay them, slay them wherever you find them. Almost 90% of chapter 9 is all about that. Chapter 5 also is the same thing. So you will find, and then you understand the reason for the that 300, 300 million Muslims which are called judges. Why they are doing that, why they are having... Uh, those things all about just explosive all about their body and they are looking for where they can die because it is written inside these books. Stay blessed. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Submit your life to Jesus Christ. You can never go to eternal life with these kind of things. Only love comes from God. God is love. And because God is love, he will tell you to do what he will tell you to do. Matthew chapter 44, Matthew chapter 5, verse 44 to 45. And he says, I pray unto you, but I say unto you, it has been said, this, do this, do this, do this, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Nobody has ever told anybody to love his enemies except Jesus Christ. Stay blessed.